Hey everybody, my name is Ed and welcome to RC with Ed. And today we're going to learn how to solder using really cheap soldering gear like this right here. So you can take a soldering iron for like $5 or whatever in, uh, you know, solder stuff, build a drone, do all kinds of fun stuff, crazy stuff, which is what we like to do on this channel. So you can do it on the cheap and I'm going to show you how to do it. Stick around, let's get into it. Today, specifically, I'm going to show you how to solder a wire to a board, which is a very common sort of thing that you will be soldering with uh, the DIY electronics and flying things that we like to build on this channel. And we're going to be doing it with some cheap gear because, well, that's because that's all I have. But also uh, because if you're just getting into um, the RC stuff, you might not want to spend a lot of money and you may not might not even know what you want to buy. So. Um, this soldering iron that I'm using uh, is essentially the same thing as a, like a $5 soldering iron from uh, Harbor Freight. The one thing to note is that it has a nice small uh, conical tip on there, which is very handy for um, soldering small electronics. So that might be something to look for. One thing I like to do uh, with that soldering iron is attach it to like a, uh, a surge protector kind of thing and it has a switch. And this way I can turn it on or off as needed and kind of regulate the temperature of the iron a little bit because these will overheat very quickly and um, very easily because there is no regulation. It's just on or off. So, and when it's on, it's usually like really hot. So, uh, so you're gonna need a soldering iron. Uh, uh, surge protector is nice with a switch. You're gonna need some rosin. I mean, some uh, some solder with a rosin core. This is what I'm using, and I find it to be just fantastic. It's nice if you have some tweezers or uh, or pliers to hold onto wires because wires get hot when you add a bunch of heat to them as it turns out uh let's see here another thing that could be useful is uh wire strippers and wire cutters we're going to be using those and uh something to kind of hold stuff still with i find that uh clothes pins or i guess you call these clothes pins uh they're not the greatest but they work okay so for example we're going to use this old messed up esc here and i'm going to solder a wire onto there and I'm going to show you how I do that because this kind of stuff happens all the time. If you are going to be building a quadcopter or fixing your plane or whatever it is. So I'm going to use these guys to kind of just hold it still, kind of keep it off of the mat here so we don't burn anything. I'm going to get my little piece of wire here. I have just a short example piece of wire right here. I'm going to zoom in in just a second so you can see all this better. Let's get started. So first thing uh, to know about soldering, well, first thing to know is that it's really not that complicated or anything. It just takes some practice. Um, so uh, you want to make sure the most important thing about soldering is to is is to pay attention to your soldering iron tip. Let me zoom in here at this moment so that I can show you this better. So your soldering iron tip, uh, you want it to be nice and shiny and, you know, clean and um, basically a kind of a silver color. If it starts turning blue, or like a purplish color, then it's getting way too hot and you need to turn off the power to it. And if it is not hot enough, well, the solder just won't melt on the tip. Um, or you might have cold solder joints, which is just where the solder is just really not, um, not properly heated up. So uh, the way that we keep our soldering iron tip clean is with this sponge here that I have. I uh, just put some water on there and so what I'm going to do is I'm, well, I'll just do it right now. We'll, we'll flip our switch to turn on the soldering iron. It's going to heat up. And I've been using this a little bit, so the tip is actually fairly clean. And we're going to see if it's hot enough by putting some solder to it. And it's not, because it's not melting the solder. Solder, by the way, is just a, a mixture of metals, lead and tin in this case, um, that uh, melts when at, at a relatively low temperature, like 700 degrees, I want to say, but I'm don't quote me on that. Go look it up. You've got Google and I don't know why that's not focusing, but that's okay. So that's what we, let's see. Let's see if it's hot enough yet. Still not quite hot enough. Okay. We're just going to let that baby heat up. It's nice if you have a, a soldering iron stand here, something to put your soldering iron on. Uh, so that you don't burn anything because that is an important thing you always be mindful of where your soldering iron tip is um, like you know whether or not it's touching your finger or maybe the the, the electrical wire or anything like that because it will 
it will burn it right up because uh, that's what it's made to do. So here we go. We're melting some solder into there. We're just feeding it in. We're not letting our fingers get too close. You can see it's smoking a little, so do this in a ventilated area. Don't breathe it. And uh, so I'm just going to wipe the tip off here and kind of rotate the soldering iron as I go. That seems to work pretty well to uh, clean it off. And you can see it's nice. If you can see it, maybe you can't, I don't know. It is nice and shiny. Can you see it? Oh, it's having trouble focusing. There we go. Nice and shiny. And uh, that is exactly what you want. So you're going to be doing that pretty often, um, quite often. And especially if, uh, if you have a soldering iron like this that doesn't have temperature regulation, um, it will get hot and then the solder will burn off faster basically, or, you know, technical science-y chemistry stuff is what will really happen. But anyway, so, <clears throat> so we have our soldering iron. We've got that good to go. We know how to clean the tip and uh, we've got a nice shiny tip on there. I'm going to turn the soldering iron off for just a second because it's actually getting too hot. And I'm going to put some more solder on there, clean the tip off again. And it is nice and shiny. There we go, boom. So the first thing uh, that we want to do with our wire to attach it, so the first thing we want to do is actually strip off the end of the wire. I'm gonna use my wire strippers here. Ah, eh, this looks like about 16 gauge, maybe? Maybe it's 18 gauge. Let's find out. Nope, it looks like about 16. So I'm just going to strip that off. If you don't have, if you don't have uh, wire strippers, what you can do is take a handy dandy razor blade exacto knife and then just Put it on the end there, maybe about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or, or something. doesn't have to be much. And then just kind of roll it across. There you go. You don't want to use too much pressure. And then you can just pull this right off. So you can use that method. I actually use that quite, quite often. So the next thing I like to do is uh, twist the wires together. Because you can see there are a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of several small wires in there. So I like to twist them together. Now we're going to, I'm going to take this, uh, this little clip here to hold this off of the ground or off of the mat rather, we're not on the ground and I've got my soldering iron here. I'm going to make sure it's nice and hot. Okay. So at this point we've stripped the wire, we've stripped off the insulation and now we're going to pre tin. This is called pre tinning or just maybe just tinning. We're going to tin the wire. And I'm going to melt some solder into the tip here. It's a little, eh, it needs to warm up just a little bit. Okay, the tip is uh, nice and hot. And we have we put some solder on there. And then we're just going to hold the soldering iron against the wire there. And feed the solder kind of into the wire. The wire is just going to kind of, once it gets hot enough, it's just going to soak it up. Add some solder. You don't need to add like a ton, but you want to be generous. That's pro that's probably too much. Let me let me grab some of that off of there, off the end, because that is a bit much. It just kind of wants to come off like that. So let me just okay. Great. Okay. Okay. Good enough. So so now our wire is tinned. We uh, have added solder to the end of it, and now we are ready to solder it to a pad. A solder pad. These little guys right here are called solder pads. This is where you solder something to, and it's a little pad. Sometimes it's uh, maybe like a, a little hole that you would put the uh, the wire through, and sometimes it's a pad that the wire just kind of sits on. So we have our wire here, and you can see this pad. This pad is actually it's already been you know some it's already been soldered. It's already been tinned. It's been pre-tinned. So, but if we were going to tin it, we would just um, well, we'd get our soldering iron ready. Uh, I got a little bit too hot. Clean it off a little bit. Still a little bit too hot. There we go. All right. So if we were going to tin it, we would just melt some solder onto our soldering iron. And then heat it up and then add some solder to it. Just like that. So then we have a nice shiny little blob fresh solder and we're ready to solder this wire to it. So now the beautiful part of this is that uh, now our wire already has solder and we already have solder there. So all we got to do is just heat up, heat up both sides and and then the, they will just join together. So I'm just going to melt 
one pad. I'm going to get my iron on top of that, make sure they're both melted together. And uh, try to keep it from, yeah, try to keep the little points down. And there you go. Boom, you just soldered something. And that is, that's probably like what most of your soldering is going to be. Soldering to, um, either soldering to a pad or maybe joining wires. But joining wires is basically the same thing. You just tin both wires and then uh, solder them together. Beautiful, look at that beautiful solder joint. Maybe it's not that beautiful, but I think it's great and it works. And that's the most important thing. It will actually work. That's going to be most of your soldering um, in in. Really, if you're attaching to a flight controller or ESCs, that's pretty much how you're going to solder. You know what, just for fun, let's solder two wires together just to demonstrate that. Tin this, the end of this wire. Give a generous amount of solder on there. Maybe not that generous, whoa. This wire has already been pre-tinned. So we've got, we have solder on there. And then I just take my little itty bitty tweezers and I would just hold, I would heat up this guy, kind of just heat them up together at the same time, and then just join them. Something like this. Or you could also actually twist the wires into one wire and then add solder. That might work better. But, you know, if you just wanted to do a quick wire connection job, you could do something like this. And it is, they are now melted together quite well. And uh, they're not going to pull apart. Again, not the most beautiful job, but you get the idea. And uh, so you can use that to connect two wires together. And uh, as long as they are holding and, every, and the electrical connection is good, then you know what? Uh, that's good enough for me. Like I said, it's really pretty simple. Um, it's just a little finicky dealing with the, the parts, you know. It's a little bit time-consuming if you have a lot of wires. And then just managing your, um, your, your, your temperature on your on your soldering iron. This, this would obviously be why you'd want to invest in a nice soldering iron if you're going to be doing a lot of soldering. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. And if it if it did, uh, leave a comment below and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know. And in any case, I will see you next time. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what other kind of how-to videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.